Okay, to do a look at the measures of central tendency for group data. So our focus today is on the group data. As yesterday, we have looked at the, uh, what do we call it as, uh, ungrouped data. But today, we will look at the group data. So this is our focus now. So how does it look like for the group data? So actually, when you have a group data, so it's something like you have about the, maybe you, you talk about the height. So students having height from um, from 140 until 149. So there are maybe three students, then you have 150 to 159. You have seven students, 160 until 169. Um, we have maybe about eight students, right? We have about eight students and so on. So this is what we call it as, as group data because the data has been grouped, you know, like I have one for the for the height having 140 and 149 is grouped in one one you know one cluster there. So we can see the measures of the central tendency for this kind of data where you know like we have mean, median and mode, same as the ungrouped data. Okay, so uh let's see the uh example. Uh, Alright, so Suppose that we have, okay, example one, okay, um, let's talk about marks. You have marks of the students, marks, and then you have the number of students, which is the frequency, of course, okay. So, you, you put like, say, in your book page, uh, 72, right? For example, 2.27, all right? So 40 until 49, uh, 50 until 59, and we have 60 until 69, 70 until 79, 80 until 89, and 90 until 99. Suppose you have four students, five, nine, 14, and then you have 10, five and also three so if you have this kind of data so it is advice for you to firstly find the you know like the lower boundary and upper boundary because you we can find this easily you can see that it is 29.5 39.5 and 49.5 you have 59 oops 59.5 69.5 uh, 79.5 and also 89.5 this is the lower boundary but the upper boundary will be 39.5 uh, 49.5 of course and 59.5 69.5 79.5 89.5 and also 99.5 so this is the class boundaries and we can also find the uh, cumulative frequency so i level cumulative frequency as the cf cumulative frequency so you should start with four so you have cumulative frequency as four and then you add with five so you will get uh, nine so now you'll add with nine you'll get 18 so 18 you'll add with 14 so of course you get 32 32 you add with 10 you get 42 uh, 42 you add 5 you get 47 and the total will be 30 and uh, sorry 50 okay and we should know that if you have cumulative frequency meaning that if you want to find a median later you know that the position um you know position 4 4 means that position 1 until position 4 and for 9 from position 5 after 4 is 5 until 9 and then from 10 until 18 from 90 19 until 32 from 33 until 42, from 43 until 47, and also from 47 until 50, uh, sorry, 48 until 50. Okay, so this is the cumulative frequencies. Uh, you can also find the midpoint. How to find the midpoint? You can add the lower limit with the upper limit and divide by 2. Or maybe you can try lower boundary plus upper boundary divided by 2. So let's take the midpoint here. All right. Okay, so you just add 30 plus 39. So 30 plus 39, so you use your calculator and then you divide by 2, so you will get 34.5. You proceed with other classes too, so you get 44.5, 55, 64.5, 64.5, 74.5, 84, sorry, 84.5, and also 94.5. So these are the midpoints for this. Um, you know, uh, you can also find the class size and to find the class size, you have to use the upper boundary, you have to subtract with the lower boundary, so surely, so class size C, um, 39.5 minus 29.5, you get 10, so for, for this uh, data, so you get 10 class size for each class, alright?
All right. So you have this kind of data. So it is advice for you after you get this set of data, you do, uh, you draw another table like this. All right. So we can find easily the mean. All right. So, so let's talk about the mean. Okay. All right. So firstly, let's let's find the mean. All right. So firstly, we we'll find the mean labeled at the x bar. So the formula is given by summation of f i x i over summation of f which is the n all right so in this case all right f is the f here is the frequency and x here should be the midpoint because you know this you have the set of data x is should be here but you don't know which one should you choose whether it is 30 39 31 34 35 so it is advised so it, so it is set to, to to use the midpoint for for x in the mean formula all right so in this case, so you have f i x i, so you have the frequency with the midpoint. So you'll have to multiply four multiply by thirty four point five, something like this. All right. So you have also for five and also forty four point five. Okay. Plus you have to add them up because it is summation, right? So you have five forty four point five. You proceed with nine fifty four point five. And then 1464.5. And then proceed again with the um, 14. And then you have 10 with the 74.5. And uh, 5, you have 84.5. And then you have 3, 94.5. Okay, you're done with that. So you have to divide this with the total number of the uh, frequency, should be the number labeled here. Because this is the cumulative frequency, so the last class should have the total number of the frequency. So, we have the total number of 50 students in this case. So, uh, you have to press your calculator right now. So, you should get something like on the upper part on the denominator, uh, sorry, numerators as 3205. And then you divide with 50, alright? So, you'll get 64.1, alright? So, this is the mean. The mean so the mean is mean to be the average mark scored by the 50 students is 64.1 okay uh next let's find the median all right still so to find the median median okay median so firstly uh to find the median uh to find the median we cannot find directly from here so firstly we will have to find the position of the median okay as usual position of the median why don't we have to arrange the data because the data is already arranged in the ascending order so we have to find the position as for the ungrouped data we have to use the formula n plus one divided by two but for group data you just directly divide by two you have n divided by two in this case n is 50 50 divided by two is 25 meaning that the fifth the median should be at the 25th position so we will have to find the 25th position from the cumulative frequency let's check now all right let's check the 25th position is is it 25 between 1 until 4 no it's not so you check is it between 5 until 9 not also is it between 10 until 18 not also but is it between 19 until 32 yes it is between 19 until 32 so uh we know that this uh, we should we should highlight okay use your highlighter to highlight that this class is actually the uh, this class is actually the median class, meaning that this class should be in the middle of the data. All right. So um, we'll have to use the formula. Firstly, you have to determine the position, which is twenty fifth position. After you determine the position, you have to find the position using the cumulative frequency, and then you have to find the class. So highlight the class. Use your highlighter whatsoever, and then you can find the median by using the formula. All right. So the formula is given by this formula is given in exam, so you don't have to memorize. But if you have to, if you want to memorize, that's up to you. That will be good because it will be faster for you to use. So LM plus, all right, we'll have summation of F over two over summation of FM minus one over FM. We have to multiply by C. Multiply by C. All right. Let me explain for you. What uh one by one? Okay. Let's let's see LM first. So LM, what is LM? LM is the lower boundary of the class median. So the class median is already highlighted here. So the lower boundary is here, 59.5. Okay? Alright, so we'll have to write first. So 59.5 plus, alright. 
sum of f, alright? So, what is sum of f divided by 2? Sum of f is, of course, you have to total up the number of students, yeah? So, we know that the total number of students given by 50 here, yeah, which is the uh, cumulative frequency, alright? So, 50, so it should be 50 divided by 2 minus sum of f m minus 1, which is the uh, frequency, uh, sorry, the cumulative frequency of the class B4 class median. So, B4 class median should be, okay, you, sh you should look at the cumulative frequency, okay. Now, we are talking about this one, f sum of f m minus 1. So, uh, sum of f m minus 1 is the Cumulative frequency before class median. Class median is 32, but cumulative frequency is, of course, 18 here because it is before class median. So, you have the sum of Fm minus 1 as 18 just now. Over Fm, alright, Fm here. Fm here should be the, Fm should be the median class. So, you look at that median class. So, it should be the uh, frequency, alright? Let's talk about frequency of the median class. So, in this case, which is 14. So, so we'll have 14 at the denominator. And the class size, should look at the class size of the median class, okay? The class size of the median class is 10, alright? It's given here, right? It's 10. So, you have to multiply, well, you have to multiply by 10. C is the class size, multiply by 10. So, you have to simply to simplify a little bit at the upper parts, and then you have to press your calculator, and finally, you'll get something like, alright, you have uh, 64.5 so 64.5 is the median for this set of data all right but you can also find the median using or or give all right so you have to draw that first but and then you can only find the median but let's say uh, I give you another example of or give all right uh, let's say if you have this kind of or give okay Okay, if, let's say if you have this kind of OGIF. So, firstly, uh, you have uh, 10, sorry, 100 number of, uh, total total of 100 students or the frequency, all right? So, total frequency is 100. So, of course, you have firstly to find the position. So, position is, of course, uh, should be N divided by, divided by 2. So, in this case, 100 divided by 2, you get 25. Uh, sorry, 50, alright? So, 50 should be somewhere around here, alright? So, you should use your ruler. Let me show you my ruler here, alright? So, you'll get something like this. And then you dot, 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 connect, it, connect your 50 to the or give, alright? Stop there, and then you have to connect your uh, dot, 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 just now to the uh, law, to the x-axis. And then you get 30 something, maybe around 32, or maybe something. Alright, so that's how you find the median. And then you have to know how to write, how to read the data there. And then you can find the median using or give. Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> how do I cancel all this? Alright. Mm. Okay. Wait a little bit. Okay. So, uh, as an alternative uh, of using formula for f to find the median, you can also find the median using the or give. Alright, now let's talk about the mode. Okay, let's talk about the mode. Mm -hmm. Number three. The mode is given by the formula. Okay, so we want to find the mode. Okay, so firstly, you have to find the model class based on the highest frequency, of course. So, because mode is, is defined as the data having the highest frequency, so you should look at your your frequency here, column of frequency, alright? So, which one has the highest frequency? So, in this case, of course, you have 14 as the highest frequency. So, again, you have to highlight, maybe use another color because just now we highlight that one for the... Um, Median, but now we highlight this one for the mode. So meaning that it, it can be the same class, it can also be another class, all right? So, but in this example, accidentally it is in the same class. So you will have 14, okay? Uh, this class is the model class, all right? Which, which is the class having the highest frequency. So after you determine the class, and then you can start using the formula. So where the formula is given by, all right? So we know that uh, mode, okay? It's given by LMO, alright, plus um, delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 multiplied by C. 
which is a bit easier for mood uh, LMO means that the lower class boundary of model class so lower boundary this one eh? I'm talking about this one LMO now is the lower boundary of the median class so of course lower boundary is 59.5 all right so we we'll should write the 59.5 plus delta 1 delta 1 should be the delta 1 should be the uh, class boundary of the model class okay class boundary of the model class we should subtract okay subtract the class uh, sorry the class frequency okay delta 1 eh? delta 1 uh, i'm talking about delta 1 right delta 1 is that the you look at the class frequency frequency class frequency of the uh, of the model class you should subtract with the class frequency of B4 model class. So, delta 1 in that case is 14 minus 9. While, while delta 2 is the frequency of the model class, you should subtract with the frequency after model class. So, in this case, 14 minus 10. So, that one is delta 1 and delta 2. You'll have to write delta 1, delta 2 in the formula. So, delta 1 is... Uh, maybe you can calculate directly. So, delta 14 minus 9 is... 5, 14 minus 10 is 4. So, delta 1 is 5 and delta 2 is 4. So, delta 1 is 5. Delta 1 plus delta 2 is 4. Alright, 5 plus 4, right? Okay. And then you'll have to multiply with the class size. So, the class size in this case for the model class is still 10, right? So, you have to write 10 there, right? So, 5 over 5 plus 4. So, you will get the value, you can use your calculator, around 65.06. So, this is the model class, meaning that most of the students scored 65.06 marks in this subject. But, you can, as an alternative of finding mode using the formula, you can also use the uh, histogram. To find the median as an alternative, you can use or give, but to find the mode, you can use the histogram. How to find the median, uh, sorry, the mode using the histogram, which is easiest way. You find, firstly, you have to find the model class. Of course, this one is the model class because it has the highest frequency here. So, what you should do is that you have to connect uh, the edge, something like this, alright? Use your ruler, please use your ruler. Okay, you have to connect this. Alright, please draw dotted lines there. And another one should be somewhere around here. Okay, the edge this one. And then the intersection point, the intersection point should be the mode. You should connect uh, this intersection point to the x-axis. Alright, something like this. So you can read the data. Maybe you can get the data maybe around 70... 72.5 maybe you should try uh, for this set of data but for for this example the ones in the book um, you can try on your own firstly you have to draw the histogram first and then you can find the mode by connecting the edges just now and then find the intersection and connect the intersection point to the x-axis and then you can read the mode should be you know about closely close to the, the the value that we have calculated using the formula all right um so i hope you enjoyed the video so please do some exercises for this one thank you